Over the past several years, Holiu has become Hong Kong's educational hub for aviation-related programs. Today, we're going to introduce you two aviation programs offered by Holiu, namely the AOS program offered by the Faculty of Engineering and the AML program offered by the Faculty of Business. Those two, pro two programs have been cooperating very well. Hello. My name is Arim Cherny. The students call me Charlie. I'm the director of the BBA Hunt program in aviation management and logistics offered by the Department of Logistics and Maritime Studies of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. We thought that we record this video to share with you our view on the future development of the aviation industry and the career prospects of the graduates of our programs. Hong Kong International Airport is a world-famous airport. It is famous because it handles more cargo than any other airport in the world. It is also famous for its passenger traffic and service. Whereas the cargo business is strong even during the pandemic, passenger traffic has dropped dramatically to almost zero. Managers are needed in the current pandemic situation to reduce the cost maintain at least a minimum amount of revenue and most importantly, to ensure being prepared for the recovery. And the recovery will come because human beings enjoy traveling. Just think of yourself. And they will keep flying also for business reasons after the pandemic. I have no doubt about this. If you're interested in a career in the aviation industry, don't be discouraged by the current situation. By the time you will graduate, aviation companies will hire young talents again. Over the past year, the aviation industry globally, and in particular in Hong Kong, has suffered a lot of loss due to COVID-19. But if you look at the aviation industry over the last several decades, it has been very resilient to all the kind of shocks such as oil crisis, such as wars, such as terrorist attack, such as the global financial crisis. Every time the emission industry emerged stronger than before. And the time it took for the aviation industry to deliver 1 billion passengers is getting shorter and shorter. So we know in the long term, the aviation industry will be very strong and it will come back in the near future. And Hong Kong is strategically positioned as an aviation hub. More than 100 airlines provide services at Hong Kong. And this lead to all kinds of jobs and services. In Hong Kong, we have three aircraft catering business. And Hong Kong has been the world's number one air cargo hub over many, many years leading to many, many companies to providing cargo operation and services. There's also at least three major aircraft maintenance companies providing aircraft major service and maintenance services to the region. And there's also government provided services such as air traffic control. And there's many, many type of jobs including, for example, aircraft financing, insurance, etc. So we are positive that the aviation industry in Hong Kong will pick up. First, I'm going to introduce you about the AOS program offered by the Faculty of Engineering. That course, we're going to target students who are interested in the operation as well as management. There, typically, you're going to take uh, the two years to finish the whole pro top up program. In year one, you're going to cover many fundamental courses, such as, for example, introduction to aviation industries, business law, warehousing, supply chain management, aviation safety and security. And also in the second year, you are going to be expected to finish many of the compulsory course plus uh, several elective courses. Right. You will also spend about two semesters 
to do a final year project or so-called individual project, during which you will need to study and to do thorough analysis of a chosen topic. Uh, there are many elective courses, some offered by AOS program for the Faculty of Engineering, with others provided by the business school, as well as the School of Hotel and Tourism. We want our students to have access to a wide range of courses. In addition to that, AOS students also need to take uh, about these uh, uh, courses offered by the Industrial Center. The duration of about four weeks and covering topics such as airframe fabrication, logistics automation, aviation safety and human factors and project management. AOS program has been well recognized by the industry. It's not only got the initial accreditation by CILTK in Hong Kong, but it's also recognized by overseas universities, such as, for example, the University of New South Wales in Sydney. AOS graduates will be able to be uh, enjoying a credit transfer of up to 50% of this master's degree, allowing you to pursue advanced study. Let me briefly introduce the main features of our program in aviation management and logistics to you. The program involves 10 BBA core subjects, such as accounting, business analytics, and other subjects. These subjects help you develop the business skill foundations. Furthermore, the program involves six so-called specialist subjects. This is where you learn about aviation markets, how they work, and how to manage them. You can choose two among 11 elective subjects. The elective subjects are offered by the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, the School of Hotel and Tourism Management, as well as, of course, the Department of Logistics and Maritime Studies. If you're interested in a career in the aviation industry, and if you're interested in managing businesses, the program in aviation management and logistics has a lot to offer to you. Don't hesitate to contact us in case you have questions. Thank you for looking at this video. We look forward to seeing you in Poly U in the near future.